Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD for Sage5.tv, bringing you yet another ETH versus Solana comparison. We cannot have enough of these, aren't we? Why? Because Solana is ramping up the pressure on Ethereum, and Ethereum seems to be waking up as well. So things are starting to get interesting between these two leading layer ones, with Ethereum, the king of smart contracts, and Solana, the one that is trying to knock Ethereum off its patch. Is that going to happen? Let's see what happens. But before I jump into this video, guys, please know that I am not financial advisor if you require financial advice please approach someone who's actually trying to give you financial advice the information contained within this video is just for entertainment as well as educational purposes for those from the uk this content is not targeted at uk audiences for the sole reason that the authorities do deem anything crypto related to be extremely risky and they're trying to protect you therefore you should not be watching any crypto related content including this video for those from the rest of the world guys thank you very much for joining us if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing to this channel before you leave we are one of the few channels that are bringing you non-conventional content that you don't find anywhere else most of the content you see here on youtube that is crypto related it's almost like copy and paste here something different totally and it's not a popularity contest it's an educational path we've chosen and we are going to prove that as the bull run continues does our approach actually work i think it does now for some pure entertainment between ethereum and solana so what's going on ethereum and solana are two prominent blockchain platforms each with unique attributes and trajectories in this video, we are going to try and give you a brief but in the comparison based on key factors. Let's start with the technology. Ethereum launched in 2015 and introduced smart contracts enabling decentralized applications or dApps. It transitioned from proof of work to proof of stake with the Ethereum 2.0 upgrade, thereby enhancing scalability and energy efficiency. However, it still faces challenges with transaction speed and fees, which is where Solana comes in. And now that I just said it, let's look at Solana briefly. Solana was established in 2020 and it employs a unique combination of proof of history and proof of stake, thereby achieving high throughput and low latency. It can process thousands of transactions per second with minimal fees, making it suitable for high-frequency applications, you know, high-frequency trading and gaming and in-game transactions and so forth. But when it comes to certain key factors such as ecosystem growth, Ethereum is the pioneer. And as a pioneer, it boasts a vast ecosystem with numerous decentralized applications or dApps, DeFi platforms, and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. The Ethereum Ethereum ecosystem is mature and attracts a wide range of projects and developers and also investors. Whereas with Solana, despite being newer, its ecosystem is expanding rapidly, particularly in DeFi and NFTs, but is still small compared to Ethereum. Its high performance is attracted projects seeking scalability and cost efficiency, and Solana is the darling of the crowd at the moment. Everyone is talking about Solana. I still question the wisdom of those who are saying, if you don't have Solana, you need to go in now. Yes, it can still do a 10x, but if that happens, I'm sure their optimal options somewhere else. You do your own research. Let's look at developer community for each of these. Ethereum with a long-standing presence, it is a large and active developer community contributing to continuous innovation and support. And Solana's developer community is growing as well, supported by initiatives like hackathons and educational programs. The Solana Foundation's efforts have led to a significant increase in developers, especially meme coin a lot, because anyone with that pump dot fun, anyone could create a meme coin in minutes, if not second. Okay, what about adoption? Which one is actually gaining more traction between these two? Well, Ethereum remains the leading platform for dApps, DeFi, and NFTs with widespread adoption across various sectors. And it's also one of the first altcoins to gain a sport ETF within the US, one of the largest crypto markets, whereas Solana is yet to achieve such a feat. And Solana is also gaining traction when it comes to adoption, especially in areas requiring high throughput, such as gaming and real-time applications. Meme coins as well, a lot of traction. It's lower fees and fast the transactions are appealing to new projects. What about the tokenomics and future prospects? Well, Ethereum serves as the native currency for transaction fees and staking. The transition to proof of stake and upcoming scalability solutions aim to reduce fees and increase throughput, enhancing its long-term viability, especially with the evolving ecosystem of its layer twos. I know there are plenty, but that is giving Ethereum a lot of options when it comes to ecosystem growth and adoption. Mind you, majority of these layer twos are not decentralized at all but that's a debate for another day. And as for Solana, when it comes to tokenomics and future prospects, the Sol coin is used for transaction fees and staking. Solana's focus on scalability and performance positions it well for future growth, though it faces challenges related to network ability and decentralization. So short term, Ethereum leads due to its established ecosystem and developer base, and also the support it ETF. It's going to do well, regardless of what people are thinking right now. It's still doing a lot better. And if you actually use different metrics to 
measure our performance in terms of market cap and how old the its spot ETF is. I think it's doing rather well and people are just being unfair. They're comparing it to Bitcoin. Why? Bitcoin did well because it was the first crypto spot ETF within the US. So of course, first move advantage, right? Let's see what happens in the next 12 to 18 months. I'm not suggesting at all that the Ethereum spot ETF will surpass Bitcoin. I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying Ethereum is not doing as bad as people are making it out to be. Anyway, moving on to the medium term, I think Solana's rapid growth and technological advantages may position it as a stronger competitor, but will it remain just a stronger competitor or it's going to achieve its objective as an Ethereum killer? Let's move on to the long term time frame. Ethereum's ongoing upgrades and extensive ecosystem suggest sustained dominance, but Solana's innovation could challenge this position. Both platforms have unique strengths and their success will depend on technological advancements, community engagement, and adaptability to market needs. So which one is going to adapt quicker, faster? Ethereum so far has been slow when it comes to upgrades and the underlying tech is kind of outdated to an extent. Solana, recent or newer technology, but it also has its challenges. So I suppose that my verdict, I'll leave an open verdict. I cannot go either way. I think we've got to review this in the next 12 to 18 months. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think Ethereum is going to be overtaken by Solana one day, maybe within this current bull cycle? Let me know in the comment section. For me, I'll leave an open verdict. Why? Because I think it's going to be down to the time frames, how you are measuring it, and whether those time frames are going to sit well with each of these ecosystems developments. But that I mean, if you look at long term, will Solana's technology survive or something better will come on and take the fight to Ethereum? And as for Ethereum, will this technology handle the challenges that are being posed by newer technologies? Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. Until the next one, this is FD465.tv signing out for now. Bye.